Hello everyone and welcome. It is the GUI Precap. It's a recap of all the things that are going to have happened for the week of April 25th, 2022 before it happens. My name is Bruce and let's get started with the GUI pick of the week. It's RavenCon this weekend. It is back and it is back in Richmond, Virginia. While pre-registration might be closed, you can still get your tickets on site. Terry Brooks is the guest of honor. Come out and have a good time. Go to ravencon.com for more details. For TV pages, on Monday, CBS has The Price is Right at night. FX has the finale of Better Things. Tuesday, ABC has Judge Harvey and To Tell the Truth's finale. BBC America has the finale of The North Water. Nat Geo has a premiere of Primal Survivor Escape the Amazon. For Wednesday, nothing. For Thursday, ABC has the 2022 NFL Draft starting. For Friday, nothing. For Saturday, HBO has a premiere of The Survivor. And for Sunday, BBC America has the 10% and Discovery has the premiere of Naked and Afraid XL. For movies coming out this week, you have Memory. An assassin for hire finds that he's become a target after he refuses to complete a job for a dangerous criminal organization. But with the memory that is beginning to falter, he is forced to question every action, blurring the lines between what is right and wrong. For Blu-rays coming out this week, you have Moonfall, Expired, and Gasoline Alley. For online services, Netflix, you have David Spade, Nothing Personal, Bullshit the Game Show, 365 Days, This Day, Silverton Siege, The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, The Unheard Tapes, Samurai Rabbit, The Usubi Chronicles, Bubble, The Seven Lives of Leia, and Rumspringa. For Hulu, you have Crush. For Prime, you have Bang Bang Baby, I Love America, and Undone. Disney has Sketchbook. And HBO has We Own This City, Doo Doo, Made for Love, and Up Close with Anna Amelia. For video games coming out this week, you've got Zombie Army 4 Dead War, The Stanley Parable Ultimate Deluxe, Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, Bugsnax, Rogue Legacy 2, Rogue Lords, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, Unsold, and Nintendo Switch Sports. For GUI News, like I said, you've got RavenCon coming out this weekend. For one more thing. As transphobic legislation is being enacted in the political sphere, organizations have been creating funds to help protect trans youth around the world. Lana and Lily Wachowski, the sisters behind the Matrix films, Speed Racer and, well, Cloud Atlas, are holding an auction to help ensure that the safety of trans kids and teens are being done in the stressful time. Through their Enter the Matrix Wachowski Collection auction, the sisters are selling items through their most popular works, including the aforementioned films and the Netflix cult classic Sense8. On Twitter, Lily called it spring cleaning, with all of the auction's proceeds going to Protect and Defend Trans Youth Fund, which will donate all the crowdfunding money to multiple trans organizations around the United States. In a mission statement on the fund's webpage, the Youth Fund said that all the proceeds will go to organizations providing direct services to trans youth and advocating for the rights of trans youth in the states that are currently targeted by anti-trans policies. Specific organizations include the Black Trans Advocacy Coalition, the Gender Nexus, and Southern Arizona's Gender Alliance, and the Zebra Collection. All right, this has been the GUI Precap. You can follow along with all of the fun times at GUIPodcast.com. Call us and leave a voicemail. It's 804-505-4484. That's 804-505-4GUI. My name is Bruce, and of course all of these things happen because I'm from the future. So be nice to yourself and each other. GUIPodcast.com <laughs>